Oh, isn't this nice? It's so warm here on this beach. Oh, the sun feels so good on my skin. Uh, excuse me, waiter. Can I have another pina colada, please? Thanks. No. No. No, not yet. Not yet. No, not yet. Not yet. Josh, it's time to get up and go to work. And by the way, it's 10 below out. Oh, what? Oh my god. And it's snowing, so don't forget your snow boots. Oh god, I hate winter. Hey guys, I'm Tobin. I'm Josh. Welcome to the Josh and Tobin Show. That's right, my birthday's over, which marks the unofficial start of winter, and it's here in full force. If you're a guy, say goodbye to your testicles until spring. And girls, be glad you're not a guy. Let's face it, nobody really likes winter. Sometimes people say on the first day of winter, oh, it's so pretty, look at all the snow. But you know, by about week six or seven, all you see is gray mush everywhere. After the streets have been plowed, after the sidewalks have been plowed, there's nothing but rocks and salt everywhere that ruin your clothes, get tracked all over your apartment. It's just a big old mess. It does make me happy that we live downtown in Montreal because right after a snowstorm, they're pretty great about clearing the sidewalks and the streets. I just wish that maybe they would hire some extra people to uh, clean off all the cars in the morning so it would make our commute faster. There's nothing like being totally ready to go to work. You've got your bag, your keys, and you're all set to go. And then you walk outside and remember, oh crap. You're already late anyway. <laughs> I'm only sometimes late. You're always late. <laughs> I like to, uh, you know, I like to have a thorough morning. <laughs> a thorough morning? You like to sleep in in 30 extra minutes. That's true. It is so much better to sleep in and just rush the rest of your morning. <laughs> Winter hit us like a brick this year. In case you don't remember, it was really warm at Christmas time. Uh, we were in Virginia. It was like 27 degrees on Christmas Day. Yeah. We had to turn the air conditioner on. My dad had the air conditioner on in his house. Then we came back to Montreal, and less than three weeks later, it's minus 10, and there's snow up to your knees. And minus 10 before the wind chill. It was minus 20 today with the wind chill. Yeah. Don't even talk to me about wind in the winter. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like my nose is going to fall right off of my face when I'm standing in one of those like big blustery winter storms. Ugh. A lot of times I wear glasses and so once I walk into the building, they fog up immediately and I can't see anything for like five minutes. So, you know, trying to hit the right button on the elevator, it's just a guessing game. Yeah, it's really funny to actually stand in the elevator and see all the other people wearing glasses just like him. And it's sort of this wall of fogged eyes. It's kind of creepy. It was like... <laughs> We've lived in Montreal now for quite some time, uh, almost 12 years, and so we've learned how to deal with the cold weather pretty well. This week, we decided that we are going to give you some tips to deal with cold weather. In a segment we like to call All Tea, No Shade with Josh and Tobin. Plain old pair of blue jeans is not gonna protect you from this wind. So our first tip is wear lots of layers. I can't put my arms down! I can't put my arms down! You can never have enough hats, gloves, and shoes. Oh yeah, sweetie darling. Cheers, thanks a lot. You should also avoid long exposure to the harsh conditions. In fact, it's probably best just to stay indoors if you can. Ugh, it's so cold outside. I really don't feel like going to the grocery store. Well, that's okay. I mean, I've got this jar of pickles and this can of corn. I can whip us up something. Pickles and corn? Huh, <laughs> just wait. Okay. And voila! Holy cow, that's amazing! I know! Mmm, delicious. Another piece of advice to keep you warm in winter is that booze can be your coat. So have another pint. Mm, that might not be the best idea. Hmm? I may have just lost my toes to frostbite, but at least I still got my buzz on. 
And finally, the best piece of advice to get you through this long, cold winter is to go to Florida. Snowbirds forever. For those of you keeping track, the lowest recorded temperature ever in Key West was five degrees. That sounds nice. Lowest recorded temperature in Montreal was minus 38. Ugh. To escape the cold, you should just go to Florida. And if you already live in Florida, well, you know where you can go. And now for something to keep you warm on these cold winter nights. It's time for Hot Guy of the Now. This week's Hot Guy of the Now is one of Josh's favorites, Chris Pratt. My crush on Chris Pratt goes all the way back to his Parks and Recreation days when he was playing pudgy, goofy, weird Andy Dwyer. And then look what it became. Oh wait, let's look. So here's the first picture of Chris Pratt. My God, he's a beautiful man. I never thought a plain white t-shirt would look that good on someone. He's gorgeous, but he's not gorgeous in that like in-your-face gorgeous way. He's just like normal gorgeous. He's the guy who lives next door. Who you really want to watch him mow his lawn shirtless. <laughs> Trim the bushes, if you will. So here he is, uh, riding his hog. I'm kind of jealous of that motorcycle, being between those uh, quivering thighs. <laughs> quivering. <laughs> I imagine they're quivering. Well, yeah, because he's afraid of the T-Rex that's somewhere near him there. My thighs are quivering. <laughs> Just call me Triceratops, because that picture makes me horny. <laughs> the picture that had the internet all aflutter for an entire day. I know it definitely had me all aflutter. And for more than an entire day. I go to the gym a lot, and I don't look like that. It must be something about pumping iron. I wish my name was Iron. <laughs> One of the first things I think of when I see this picture is how can I get his Hollywood trainer? How can I be his Hollywood trainer? To be able to be with that for like three or four times a week? <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Maybe he could be my trainer. A belated birthday present, maybe? How'd you guess? Oh, I knew it! You know what? In fact, just ignore all the advice we gave you about keeping warm in winter. A crisp rat is all you need. <laughs> crisp rat. Well, guys, that's it for this episode. If you have any tips or suggestions on how you stay warm in the winter, let us know. We'd really like to do another Q&A sometime soon, so if you have any questions for us, let us know in the comments below or send them to us on Twitter or Facebook. Remember, no topic off limits, ask away. See you next time, and remember, don't forget to laugh at yourself. Well guys, I hope you liked that episode. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. In the description below, you'll find our social media links where I'm at JD Horner on Twitter. And I'm at Tobin Skinner. You'll also find a link to our website, joshandtobin.com, where you'll find out more about us. And our Facebook page, Josh and Tobin. Bye! Bye.